and welcome back in as we get ready to bring you second half action between Ball State and Monmo State in National Junior College basketball action in the Tennessee Community College Athletic Association. At halftime, it is Ball State 31 and Motlo 19. Motlo having all kinds of problems with the Ball State defense. They have really shut down uh, all the passing lanes uh, that normally are open for Motlo. They're having all kinds of problems getting the ball inside to their leading scorer, Chelsea Wiseman, who averages 16 points per ball game, and Chelsea right now only has three points. So a lot of problem there uh, with, with Wiseman not being able to score, and that's really put uh, a hamper on this offense of Motlo. It'll be Motlo basketball to begin play here in the second half. Flowers to work the ball inbounds. Flowers, Irvin, Taylor, Owen, and Wiseman. Irvin has the basketball as we are now underway. Flowers gets it over to Wiseman. Wiseman top the key gets to Irvin. Irvin takes a couple of dribbles and gives off Lakira Taylor. Taylor top the key. Trouble picked up her dribble. Needs some help. Drops a pass off to Irvin. Shot clock down to 18 seconds. Been a lot of times, Motlow's had to force the ball just to get off a shot before the buzzer. Shot on the way, spins off no good by Taylor. On, Bianca Mason has come back to the gymnasium who was hurt in the first half. She has an injured foot, it looks like, and she is on crutches as she makes her way back to the gym. Shot on the way by Ball State is up and no good by Rochelle. Motlow's got the basketball back as they'll work it down court. Look here at Taylor, into the paint, kicks it right side, Owen. Owen cannot find her shot right now. That one no good, and Van gets the rebound for Ball State. I'll set things up, Alex Swope. Swope, wide open, and no good with the shot, West. Wiseman on West, West can't get the shot off. Boy, Motlow got fortunate. I mean, everybody was flat-footed for Motlow, and an easy bucket missed by West. Ball State, little baby hook in there, no good. Wiseman fights for the rebound and is fouled by West. I think West was surprised that she was that open. Normally you expect defense to be there when you're underneath the bucket, but no one was there. Now Motlow has the ball back, down by 12. Ice cold shooting for Motlow today. Wiseman tries to make a move on the right wing, cannot get free. Now Owen, top of the key. Owen gets the pick and can't get free on the right side, gives to Irvin. Irvin on the right wing. Irvin tries to give to Wiseman, knocked out of bounds by Heather Van. Just sticky defense, my goodness. Milo just cannot find an opening today. And ball slapped free. On the floor, stolen away by Bliss, who's had a great game. Now Swope in the backcourt. Swope calls timeout. 18.03 left in the ball game. 31 to 19 is your score. Motlow leads, or Motlow trails, excuse me, Ball State in basketball action here on WHMT. Ball State basketball. Now drive around, Rochelle, good move. Boy, she got a quick little step there. She'll drop a step and spin around and hit that shot. Very nice. 33 to 19. Rochelle now with seven. Inside, Wiseman gets two on the board for Motlow. Boy, she has got to pick it up here in the second half if Motlow has any chance to come from behind. 33-21, Ball State. Good crowd continues to gather here. That'll be a packed house today. Even the upper section with fans today. We don't see that often. We can pack the lower sections and put in a pretty good crowd here. You get them in the upper section, it's a big crowd here. In the paint, shot Wiseman, good! That's what they need. Chelsea Wiseman, timeout, Ball State. They see what's going on. It's 33-23, 17.05 left in this one.
Ball State with the basketball. Heather Van passes down low to West. West layup good. West into double figures. She has 10. Sarah Bliss has 10 for Ball State as they have two and double figures. Motlow yet to have one go into double figures. They're led by Wiseman with seven. Motlow basketball with Flowers at the top of the key. She'll give to Owen. Owen flips it left side. Nothing opening up. Bodies hit the floor. Taylor. Taylor spins it left side. Wiseman. Wiseman makes the move and Rochelle will pick up a foul. And I think that's what Coach Holland has told Wiseman. You got to get more aggressive and drive to the bucket. Draw some fouls and that's what she's doing now. And a foul called on Rochelle. Her second. Working inbounds, Motlow. Taylor goes baseline. Tipped and saved there by Russell. Working right side, top of the key. Taylor. Taylor goes to Wiseman. Wiseman, double team, got it knocked free. That's just tough. Tough defense. Out top, Ball State with it. Now Bliss, Bliss fires, no, Wiseman rebounds. 16 minutes left in the women's game. Men's game will follow. Taylor fires three ball, no good. Rebound to Swope. Swope and Taylor go down after the ball, but it was Swope walking, and it will be Motlow basketball. Motlow, a little fire in their belly all of a sudden. 15-51 remains in the ball game. Wiseman. Gives the ball out top to Owen. Owen need her some uh, to hit a few shots. Driving is Flowers, and Flowers will be fouled on the drive, and it'll be out of bounds. Katie Bliss, her second. Katie Bliss picks up her second. Three fouls on Ball State real quickly here. Motlow trouble getting it in bounds. They finally do to Owen. Owen back to Flowers. Flowers fires, no good. Rebound is being dominated rebound. by Ball State. They just can't get the rebounds. Katie Bliss down court. Bliss gets to Rigsby and she'll set the offense up for the Lady Pioneers. The left side to West. West top the key to Bliss. Fire back over here. Rigsby on the right elbow. Rigsby goes down low to Neal. Neal's shot is good. Brianna Neal, her first two. Long outlet pass, Motlow throws it away. And Ball State has grabbed the 14 point lead back, 37-23, with 15.08 remaining in the ball game. Plenty of basketball action coming your way this week with Tullahoma basketball. Be sure to keep it here on WHMT. Check out our website, TullahomaRadio.com for more information. We got a foul away from the ball. Foul on Neal. That'll be Motlow basketball down by 14. Coach Aaron Holland comes up and says motion, motion. Taylor goes right side on the wing. Looks for Wiseman. Wiseman, tough shot with double defenders on it and ball goes out of bounds off of Ball State. So Motlow to inbound the ball. Gets it in to Owen. Owen right side. Gets to Rice. Rice on the right wing. We'll bring it back out at the top. Rice makes a move. Gives to Owen on the right elbow. Rice, three seconds. Two, one, and barely got iron. And Wiseman tracks down the rebound. Taylor splits defenders, goes up. No, but she's fouled. Great rebound on the part of Chelsea Wiseman as she tracked that one down off the miss. It just barely got ironed. And she was able to grab that and give a second opportunity. And now Taylor will go to the line for the Lady Bucks. Down by 14. Down by 13. She hits the first free throw, her fourth point of the ball game. She had 71% on the year. She averages eight points per ball game. Lakira Taylor. 
has four points in the ball game. She has five points in the ball game. Now 37-25. 14-15 left here. Ball State basketball. Malo trying to crank it up a little more defensively now. Going the corner, Neal. Neal stops, bounce pass inside. Got stripped away. Great defense by Russell. And it'll be walking on Ball State. Motlow basketball. Defense has been really the big emphasis here in the second half for Motlow. Over and back. Silly move. Got the ball across big court and threw it back. Oh, bad mistake there on the part of Motlow. So the turnover and give to Ball State. Just a mental breakdown that time. Can't get over the crowd. Great crowd today. Foul called on Owen out here. She was deeing it up on Sarah Bliss. First team foul on Motlow in the second half. Ball State with five. Bliss gets the ball on the inbound. She got hot in the first half. She has a shot fired up there now. That one's no good. Wiseman with a rebound. Motlow hangs on here. Rice. Wiseman wants the ball. She saw something, then it got shut down. Goes down Rice. Rice, kick out Owen. Owen drives in, pull up 15 foot at bottom. First two for Owen. Boy, we need her to get going. 37 27. 13 minutes left in this one. Can Motlow make a big comeback here? Van with it on the right side. She'll spin, make a good move, and then foul. And on a reach in. It'll be LaShondra Rice picking up the foul. Heather Van with two points in the ball game at the free throw line today. She'll have a chance here. First one up and good. She's three for three. She's hit all four of her free throws with four points in the ball game. Heather Van. And the lady that played her prep ball at Moore County. 39-27. Motlow with the basketball and traveling on Kanisha Russell. She knew it. And again, another mental mistake on the part of the Lady Bucks. Back-to-back -back turnovers on mental breakdowns. Swope with it for Ball State. Get the band on the right wing. Bounce pass off down low to West. West, easy bucket. West with 12. She leads Ball State. 41-27. Soon as Motlow gets it to that magical 10-point mark, things start to happen and Ball State grabs a 14-point lead again. And now a foul out top. Owen was fouled. That's 16 fouls. It'll be a non-shooting foul and it will be out of bounds to the Lady Bucks. Gaines replaces Taylor in the lineup for Motlow. Got it worked in bounds to Rice. Rice looks to Russell and now Russell will work the offense. Russell gives to Wiseman. This man-to-man -man defense has been tough. Wiseman's pass deflected and stolen away by Ball State. Still loose on the floor, though. Motlow had it for a moment. They're going to be a, a, let's see, a hell ball call, hell ball, and it'll be Ball State with the possession arrow. Boy, Coach Aaron Holland getting after it out here, and his team's kind of letting him down a little bit right now. 11.50 remaining in the ball game. Ball State leads it 41-27. Van goes down low to Neal and a foul called on Monlow. Chelsea Wiseman can't believe it, but the foul was called. 
Two on Wiseman. Owen checks out. Flowers in now for the Lady Bucks. Easy inbound pass, and the bucket missed. Wow, very fortunate there for Motlo. That one didn't go. Had a cutter to the bucket. Nobody picked her up, but the missed shot on the part of Bliss. Wiseman flips it left side, gains, gains, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, loose, who's got it? Ball State, and then an elbow. Timeout, Ball State, and Rice took a shot to the face. We've got a timeout. 41-27, Ball State leads Motlow. 11-24 to go in the ball game. The men's game will follow, and we'll have it for you right here on WHMT, Tullahoma Radio. Ball State getting full court pressure from Motlow, but they break it easily. Bliss will come across and give to Swope. Swope works it right side, then back to the top. Stops, gives right side Van. Van can't get free, needs help, gives to Swope. Swope will take it left side. She'll drive all the way down over Wiseman. Shot wouldn't go. Rebound by West. West goes up, lost the handle of the ball. Coming over the top is Neal to grab on and put up the shot good. Motlow just couldn't grab the ball. 43-27, biggest lead at 16. 10-40 to go in the ball game. And it's starting to slip away. Taylor, line drive three, just goes out of bounds. Boy. It has gone bad for Motlow. They had gotten it down to 10 at 37-27. They haven't scored since. Ball State with the ball. Swope with it out top. Not about midcourt. She'll take it right side now to Bliss. Bliss to Neal. Neal double team. Neal needs help. Flips it to Swope. Swope in the corner to Van. Van left side. Tries to drive in. Kicks it out to Swope. Swope pulls up 12-footer on the way good. Alex Swope with her first two of the game. And we are halfway gone in the second half. 45-27, the biggest lead of the game for Ball State at 18. Motlow on the wing with Taylor. Taylor to Wiseman, triple teamed as Wiseman. And a hell ball, give it to Ball State. My goodness, Chelsea Wiseman, they came in here and said, number 24 for Motlow will not beat us. And that's how they have kneed it up all day long. If she touches it, Everybody's coming to the ball. Hell ball possession goes to Motlow. And you can see right now Wiseman really getting frustrated. Give it to left side to Milan. Her shot up, no good, and the ball's tipped out. And it will go to, no, no, I, I didn't think so. That goes off ball state. It'll be Motlow ball side court, but only five seconds. Five seconds left on the shot clock. So Motlow has got to be aware of that. Get it worked in bounds, Taylor. Taylor gonna drive baseline, put up the shot, missed everything. It would have been a shot clock violation anyway because she missed the rim. Down court quickly, Rochelle, Rochelle lay up good. Motlow couldn't get back defensively, Rochelle has nine. It's 47-27, timeout Motlow. 47-27, Ball State leads at 9-24 to go in the ball game. Oh. ...to go in the ball game. It has been the defense of Ball State today that has done the job. They have basically just shut down the Motlow offense. Presley Owen, the second leading scorer at 12 a game, only has two. Leading scorer Chelsea Wiseman averages 16, she has seven. 
Lakira Taylor has, uh, she averages eight, and she has five points in this ball game. She got foul going baseline. She'll go to the line for two shots, or one and one here, one and one. Rochelle picked up her third foul. Taylor free throw good. She is three for three. She has six points. Now she has another one. Four for four from the line. Forty-seven twenty-nine. First points for Motlow in about four minutes. Foul going to the bucket. Shooting two, Free throw up and good by Rochelle. She had a solid ball game, got 10 points, double figures. Missed on that one. 48, 29 your score. Drive inside, shot up, is good by Taylor. She now leads Motlow with nine points. Oh, Rochelle just traveled big time and no call. Wow. Got a foul away from the ball on Irvin. Work it in for Ball State. They'll go down low. Rochelle wide open. Lay up good. She has 12 to lead her team. She's tied with West with 12. 50 to 31. 8.20 to go in the ball game. And I'll be honest with you. Coach Aaron Holland's probably looking to the end of this one. To go to work. Find out what in the world went wrong in this one. Can't hit the shots and defensive pressure got to him. Taylor just fires a shot up there and it goes out of bounds. Let me tell you, there's probably been at least 10 times during this game that Motlow's been forced to shoot a shot before the shot clock goes off. I mean, get it up there with about, you know, three down inside three seconds to go on the shot clock. They're just forcing shots, and that's been the pressure of the defense from Ball State that's got it done. 7.45 remaining in this one. Men's game will follow. Bliss, fire, shot, no. Rebound, Motlow. Drive, Taylor, drops a five. Well, that one's stolen away, just stolen. And here comes Rigsby. Rigsby off to Bliss. That is Katie Bliss, she'll bring it back out. Set up the offense with Rigsby. Neal with it, Neal driving, kick it back out to Van, Van drives, she got fouled. Heather Van will go to the line for Ball State. Montera uh, Taylor picked up the foul. Team six. At the line, Heather Van. So Van to the line. It's another. Van with five. She'll have another shot here. Miss that one. Rebound, Ball State. Neal down on the, the uh, baseline, hits the shot. And Neal with all six of her points in the second half. Motlow down court with it, trailing 53 to 31, 22 point lead now. 
And on the move, a foul was called on Van. That's three on Heather. Now Motlow will go to the line with Erica Irvin. One and one for Irvin. Free throw good. Irvin trying to improve her percentage. She averages three points a ball game, but less than 30 at the line. But she'll hit one of two. Lane violation, lane violation. She'll have another chance here. Missed it. Rebound Van. Fire down low on the blocks. Working it, nothing opening up. Mm, that's a wall. Thank you. So Ball State will travel. Monlo will get the ball back down 53-32 with 6.39 remaining in the ball game. The offense out here top is Rice. Rice will give to Milan. Milan to Owen. Ball stolen away by West. West down court. Goes to the right wing and gives back to Swope. Swope right side with it to Neal. Neal fires out top to Katie Bliss. Right side Neal. Neal's had a good second half. Swope takes it around. Left side, Katie Bliss fires, three-pointer no good. Motlow with the rebound to Rice. Rice will come down court at the top of the key. On a little go move to the bucket, Owen's shot is blocked. Ball State back with the basketball. Swope will bring it back out to set up the offense. Now Neal. Neal gives to West. West, slap three stolen by Montlow. Rice comes out of the pack with it. Outlet ahead to Owen. Owen in the corner to Wiseman. Wiseman three good. Chelsea Wiseman with her first three point bucket on the ball game. Wiseman with 10 to lead Montlow. Down low, Neil. Look at Neil work. Brianna Neal has eight. She didn't score anything in the first half. Motlow's Wiseman crosses over midcourt with it. Wiseman makes the move, dribbles all the way down, pulls up in the paint. Good. There's Chelsea Wiseman. She has 12, and we've got Wiseman rolling an ankle. That's not good with her being your leading scorer. And she's trying to walk it off right now as she takes a trip down the hallway. Here in the Nisbet Center. And she'll have to check out of the ball game. The trainer will go check on Chelsea Wiseman. Well, you cannot afford to lose her. Even after this really bad day for Motlow, you see her starting to score here late in this one. She has 12. She just won't quit. Ball stayed ahead. Neal to Rochelle. Rochelle, layup, missed it. Got a rebound back and got fouled. Lakira Taylor will pick up the foul for the Motlow Lady Bucks. 17 fouls on Motlow. At the line, Christine Rochelle. She has 12 in the ball game. She has 13 to lead her team. Got three people in double figures today. She missed that second one. She has 13, 12 for West. We got a hell ball. Nope, we got a timeout, I believe. Yep, timeout for Motlow. And also Bliss with 10. Timeout Motlow, 56 37, 421 remaining in the ball game. Motlow trails, Ball State. We'll be back with more in a moment. This is Tulloma Radio. 
56-37. Motlow's ladies trail in this one to Ball State with four minutes and 21 seconds remaining in the ball game. The men's game will follow here. Be sure and stay tuned. During between games, we'll try to get you some scores from college football action. Top 25, Chelsea Wiseman looks to be okay as she walks back toward the bench now and not limping at all, so that is good. Rice with it, works the offense for Montlow. Four minutes remains in the ball game. Spinning, turning Russell on the right side, and she traveled. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Been the downfall today for the Motlow Lady Bucks who have played so well here in the opening part of this season, but really struggled today. Go down low to Neal, Neal to Rochelle, ball on the floor, coming out of the pack with it is Rice for Motlow. Rice, right down the middle of the floor, top of the key, she stops, nothing opening up, Makes a move, goes left side to Taylor. Taylor brings it back out. Taylor goes over now to Rice on the right elbow. Give to Taylor on the right wing. Taylor shoots with five and gets fouled. LaKira Taylor will go to the line for the Lady Bucks of Mambo. Taylor's four for four from the line in this one. She has nine points in the ball game. She can move into double figures with Wiseman and she can hit this first free throw. And she does not. She'll have a chance here. Wiseman returns to the lineup for the Lady Bucks. She's Pelham tough. <laughs> well, we got some confusion out here by the officials. Not sure why, but now we can. There we go. Three throw up. No good. She missed both. Here comes Ball State ahead. Katie Bliss down to Rochelle. Stolen away by Wiseman. Wiseman outlet to Taylor. Follow's not been in the running gun today as much as they have in a couple of games this year. Wiseman, long three-pointer. Holy cow, that was deep. No good. It's 56-37, 2.50 left in the game. Bliss, Sarah Bliss, who has not scored in the second half, throws it cross court, and Wiseman knocked it out. She scored 10 in the first half, no points in the second half. Work it inbounds to Rochelle. Rochelle from 12 feet, bottom. She's got 15, 10 in the second half. As running to the other end is Kadesha Russell. She'll get fouled. Shot no good, but she was fouled and will have two shots here for Kanisha Russell. Sarah Bliss with her third foul. Kanisha Russell hits 50% from the line. She averages four points per ball game. She hits the first one. She has four points. That free throw, no good. Ball stayed in the backcourt. Swope, long outlet pass to Rochelle. Rochelle fires a pass down low, too much to West, goes out of bounds. West really angry with her teammate. Look at the scoreboard. Don't be too unhappy. 58-38. Two ten to go. Monlo basketball, Presley Owen at the top. It's off to Taylor. Wiseman with the ball, cross court over. 
Flowers driving. And they're going to call the foul on Flowers. Charging. And give the ball to Ball State with a minute 51 to go in the ball game. Crossing over midcourt with it. Ball State, Katie Bliss and Swope. Now checking in is Hannah Tracy into the ballgame for the first time for Ball State. Tracy with it on the left side. Tracy gives to Van. Van got fouled. Van with five points. She'll have a uh, shooting foul called, so she'll have two shots here. Good. Averaging just shy of nine points a ball game. She has six in this one. Make it seven. She's seven of eight from the line. Heather Van. 60 to 38, 120 to go. Motlow trails by 22. Not the best of days for the Motlow Lady Bucks. Slipping and falling, but getting the pass off was Flowers. Work it to Irvin on the right side. Irvin to Taylor. Taylor fires down low to Wiseman. Wiseman running shot good. Chelsea Wiseman. Quite wise, Wiseman has 14. She has 11 in the second half. Hand check foul called on Flowers. We don't need to be doing that with 50 seconds left. Two shots coming up for Rigsby who has not scored in the game. Tierra Rigsby but she has scored now. That's nine Lady Pioneers that have scored. She hits one of two. Ball loose on the floor, and here comes Motlow out of the back with it, and driving down is Kira Taylor. Taylor to Wiseman. Wiseman from 24 feet. Bottom! Wiseman with 17. She got her points. 61 to 43. It's her second three-pointer of the ball game. That one goes out of bounds. And we got a whistle and a foul. Foul on Irvin to the line is Heather Van. At the line, Heather Van. She's eight of nine. She's about at her average. It's all from the line, unusual way. Got it again. Nine of 10 from the line. Solid. 63-43. 63-43, 25 six seconds left. Shot clock is off and we'll wind it down here at the Copperwell Arena for women's basketball. Men's game will follow here in about 20 minutes after this one. Top the key, Motlow gonna drive down, Irvin with it. Irvin puts up the shot, she's gonna be fouled with 10 seconds left. Irvin has one point in the ball game. She has hit one of two from the line. She'll have two more here. In this last minute of the ball game just won't end. Ton of fouls here late. Irvin hits the first one. She has two points in the ball game. Irvin hits the second one. She has three. Three points in the ball game. 63-45. Motlow will fall to three and two on the year. Block shot by Wiseman. Neal gets the rebound, and that's it. 63 to 45, your final. Ball.
Hall State defeats Motlow in women's college basketball here at the Motlow campus. We'll be back to wrap it up, give you a rundown of scoring in just a moment.